Welcome to our exploration of leadership change with Act Like a Leader, Think Like a Leader by Herminia Ibarra. Today, we're starting a journey into this influential book which is packed full of knowledge on modern-day leadership. Herminia Ibarra, the author, is a well-known expert in leadership and company behavior. Her vast knowledge is seen throughout her insightful book. She offers us a fresh look at leadership, one that makes us question traditional beliefs and forces us to reconsider our understanding of being a leader. Act Like a Leader, Think Like a Leader is more than just a book. It's a kind invitation to experience a new way of thinking about leadership. It's like a compass guiding us to a new way of leading that's suitable for the 21st century. This book doesn't only talk about leadership, it gives useful strategies that can change you into the leader you aim to be. A main focus of this book is the idea that to improve as leaders, we need to step outside of our comfort zones. Ibarra proposes that we can't just think our way into leadership, we must act our way in. This concept is a constant theme, tying together the different insights in the book and leading us to a deeper understanding of leadership. In today's ever-changing leadership environment, this book is very relevant. It makes us question our set beliefs, step into new areas, and accept the discomfort that comes with personal growth. This book has the potential to transform not just individuals, but entire companies. During our journey through Act Like a Leader, Think Like a Leader, we'll be discovering useful insights that can light your way to leadership. Whether you're an upcoming leader or an experienced one, this book has something for you. So get ready for an exciting journey into the world of leadership. Stay tuned for useful insights on leadership from this transformative book. So, what does being a leader really mean? Let's see what Herminio Ibarra thinks. According to Ibarra, being a leader isn't just about heading a team or a company. It's a challenging role that needs one to make decisions, solve problems, and motivate people. She talks about outside, which means learning from actions and changes in our roles and surroundings, rather than from self-reflection. It's about gaining knowledge from real-life experiences. Ibarra underlines the need for identity play, a process of trying out various leadership styles till one works for you. It's about leaving your comfort zone and seeing what suits you best. For Ibarra, leadership is not a one-size-fits-all role. It's unique for everyone, depending on their experiences, skills, and situation. It's not about pretending to be someone you're not, but about becoming the leader you want to be. She also talks about networking across, a way of building connections not just within your organization, but also with peers and others for different viewpoints. This, she says, can result in new ideas and chances for teamwork. Lastly, Ibarra talks about the shift from being a doer to an influencer. As leaders, we need to focus more on influencing others and setting the strategic direction. It's about using our knowledge and power to make a greater impact. As we can see, thinking and acting like a leader is important. Leadership, in Ibarra's view, is a journey of self-discovery, action, and influence. It's about stepping up, reaching out, and leaving a mark. And that's what it truly means to act like a leader, think like a leader. Moving into a leadership position can be tough. We're going to look at this closely. As we dive deep into the thoughts of Herminia Ibarra about leadership transition, it's clear that becoming a leader is not just about a new job title. It's a big change in how you think, act, and see yourself. Moving from being a team member to a leader can be hard. You're not just looking after your own work anymore, but also the success of your team and the whole company. The rules change and suddenly, you're in a new game. You have to handle a lot of duties, make difficult choices, and deal with complicated situations. But here's something good. Ibarra says that these aren't problems. They're chances to grow and learn. The book gives practical tips to make this change easier. One tip is to learn by doing. This means pushing ourselves to do new things and learn from the experience. It's about facing the unknown, and by doing so, we grow into our leadership roles. Another important tip Ibarra gives is the importance of networking. Making connections with different types of people gives us new viewpoints, helps us understand things better, and promotes teamwork in problem solving. It's about building a group of people who can help us on our leadership journey. Lastly, Ibarra says we should think big. As leaders, we need to focus on the big picture, the long-term goal. This change in view helps us make strategic choices that push our companies forward. Remember, becoming a leader doesn't happen overnight. It's a journey. As Ibarra says, 
The only way to become a leader is to start acting like one. It's about taking action, learning from what happens, and always better. Becoming a leader is a journey, and Ibarra gives us the guidance we need. Let's understand what it means to act like a leader. According to Herminia Ibarra, being a leader is not just about having a title, it's about doing things. Think of a music conductor. They don't play any instrument, but they guide the musicians to make beautiful music. Just like that, being a leader is about helping your team work together to achieve a common goal. It's not about doing everything yourself, but about helping others do their best. There's a story in the book about a new leader who had to help her team through a tough time. Even though her team was doubtful, she remained strong, spoke clearly, and showed the qualities a good leader should have. She didn't just tell her team what to do. She showed them how to handle change, proving that actions speak louder than words. So, how can you act like a leader? First, encourage open communication. Leaders make sure everyone understands what's going on. Second, be quick to make decisions. Leaders don't wait around, they act. Third, show that you can handle change well. Change is a part of life, and leaders need to be able to deal with it. Remember, being a leader is like putting on show, and every interaction is a chance to show your leadership skills. Whether it's a team meeting, a chat, or even an email, how you talk and interact with others shows your leadership style. And finally, remember that acting like a leader is not about pretending or putting on a show. It's about being real, sticking to your beliefs while guiding others towards a goal. It's about taking on the role and the responsibility that comes with it. Being a leader is more than just a role, it's a responsibility. Being a leader means thinking in a special way. This isn't just about knowing what to do, but how you tackle problems, make choices, and plan for what's ahead. Leaders have a unique way of thinking. They see the whole picture and how things are linked. They're good at guessing possible obstacles. Leaders don't look for easy answers when there's a problem. They dig deep to find the real cause and use this chance to learn and make things better. They don't just make decisions on the spur of the moment. They think about the good and bad points. Consider the results and make wise decisions. Leaders aren't scared to make difficult decisions, but they also know it's important to work with their team. Thinking like a leader is a big part of being a leader. E. Leadership is like being on a never-ending road trip. You're always learning and growing. This what Herminia Ibarra believes. She wants leaders to always be open to learning new things and making themselves better. One of her main tips is to use outsight. This means learning from what happens around you and not just from your own thoughts. It means trying new things, listening to different people and being open to change. Ibarra also thinks that all leaders should have a clear idea of what they want to achieve. This idea can help guide them, like a compass, when things get tough. Finally, she says leaders need to have a good set of friends and colleagues. These can help you learn, give you advice, and offer you opportunities. In short, Ibarra's given us a map for how to keep getting better as a leader. By following this map, leaders can feel more sure and able on their leadership road trip. Let's go over what we've learned from Act Like a Leader, Think Like a Leader. The book's author, Herminia Ibarra, tells us that being a leader is about doing, not just thinking. Keep in mind, being a leader isn't just about your job title, it's about how you think and behave, and your dedication to becoming better. An important point we talked about is understanding what it means to be a leader. Ibarra pushes us to make sure our thoughts and actions fit our leadership roles. Just having a leadership title isn't enough. We need to show the traits, attitudes, and actions of a leader. Then we looked at how to move into a leadership role. Ibarra talks about the difficulties people have when they start leading and gives us ways to make this change a success. This change isn't just about getting a new job title. It's about changing your mindset your duties, and your influence. Next, we looked at the real-world side of being a leader. Ibarra gives us advice on how leaders should behave in different situations with useful tips for those starting to lead. It's not just about what you say, but also how you say it and what you do that makes you a leader. We also looked at the mental side of thinking like a leader. Leaders solve problems and make decisions in a different way. They think strategically, considering the big picture and the long-term effects of their choices. Lastly, we went over the practical steps for ongoing leadership growth. Ibarra's advice for self-led leadership growth is really helpful. It's a reminder that being a leader is a journey, not an endpoint. And there's always more to learn and ways to get better. Basically, act like a leader, think like a leader, 
is a handbook for anyone who wants to lead with loads of practical tips, insights, and tactics. It asks us to step outside what's comfortable to behave, think, and grow as leaders. As we end, remember that being a leader is a journey, and every journey starts with one step. So take that step today. Use what you've learned and start your journey to leadership. We'd love to hear your thoughts and learnings in the comments. We hope you found this look into act like a leader, think like a leader helpful. Make sure these lessons don't just stay in your head, but show in your actions as you start your journey to be a leader. If you liked this deep look and want to keep learning with us, remember to give this video a thumbs up and click subscribe. Your support helps us make more videos like this and we can keep discovering the secrets of leadership and personal growth together. Want to share the knowledge? Pass this video on to friends, co-workers, or anyone who might find it useful. We have a lot more in store for you. Look at our other videos and playlists that examine different aspects of leadership and personal growth. Each one is packed with valuable knowledge just waiting to be found. Thanks for learning about Act Like a Leader, Think Like a Leader with us.